Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet Anaoku. I'm from Nigeria, from Anambra State. But I'm based in Italy with my family, my husband and my two children. And this is one of them. <laughs> her name is Toi. And for those of you that are wondering why is her name Toi, that is a story for another day. So today, in today's video, we are going to be showing you guys how I make one of the Italian best sauce for pasta. It's commonly known as ragu al bolognese for those of you that stay in italy i'm sure you know what i'm talking about and it's also known as me uh, means meat sauce in english but today i'm going to be showing you how the italians do it the best way so let's start by showing you all the ingredients we'll be needing for this recipe so you say hello hello <laughs> Over here I have chopped carrots, celery, and onions cut in pieces. I bought the one that they sell, sell at supermarket just because today I didn't have time to cut all these things. So I decided to go for the already made. But if you have time, you can do that by yourself. So I'm also indicating the other ingredients stock garlic powder i have my minced meat black pepper salt tomato puree and also olive oil feel free to use vegetable oil if you wish to Why, why? Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, it's okay. Add the vegetables. She already washed her hands in case you are wondering why she's touching it with her hands. She, her hands are clean. Put it there. Take, stir. Allow to fry for a, a minute then we'll add the minced meat okay the carrots the onions and the celery has fried for a minute so i'm going to start by adding other things minced meat everything together mix it very well with the vegetables make sure you allow the meat mix very well with the vegetables. Take the garlic. Okay. Black pepper. Go ahead, abundance. Okay. 
stir together. Take the stock. Use this one to measure two, two of that. One more. Salt. Go ahead to test. Okay. Stay together. Guys, I'm also using this opportunity to teach my daughter how to make ragu. She has to be learning things at this age, at 14 and a half. I'm trying to be teaching her the simple things. Then about the hard ones, we'll get there later on. Because very soon, a few years from now, she'll be going to stay alone on her own. After senior secondary school. So... So that she'll be able to do things by herself when she'll be living alone at the university. Okay, oh, uh, it's time for the tomato. Attention. Later you rinse it with some water. Just put it down. Take the other one. Bring it. Let me help you to rinse. Pour it into the other, the other one, the other bottle. Shake it very well and then pour it inside the pot. Okay. You can now stir, stir everything together. Go down, go down with the spoon. Okay, let me taste because we need to taste and see if the salt is okay. Add some salt. Let's trust me. Okay. Add small cube, small stock, small cube. Yeah. Need to add small 
Вот так. This is going to cook for a very, very long time. Guys, the secret about this sauce is that it's going to be cooking for a very long time. A normal Italian person will tell you that the best ragu is cooked for at least two good hours on the lowest heat. So we are going to do that now. I'm going to low this heat, bring it to the lowest, and we are going to cook it for at least two hours to get the best ragu. So guys, this is an hour after the ragu has been cooking. I came to check on it. Yes, it's true that you are going to allow to cook for two hours, but at least you should be able to come and check on it an hour before so this is an hour after it has been cooking and uh, I'm going to add a basilico you can add rosemary if you want some people do add rosemary but I'm adding basilico I'm adding basilico so it's essentially leave anywhere I said basilico because that is what is called in Italy. It's scent leaf. So we are still going to allow to cook for at least for from the look of things in 30 minutes should be ready. So I'll be back in 30 minutes again to take a look at it. So guys, this is our ragu after an hour and a half it was supposed to cook for at least two hours but after an hour and a half i saw that everything was okay the tomato is well cooked the meat is soft everything is well cooked in, in between an hour and a half so as you can see this is ragu i started to learn how to do ragu by myself i think two years ago because my children love it very much and I found out that the one at the supermarket, you buy it and it's really enough for two people. So I decided to learn how to do it by myself and I'm very proud of myself. Since two years I've been doing it alone and the outcome is so awesome. So all the ingredients used in this recipe, I will be leaving everything in the description box below. So you yourself can give it a try at home. So our ragu is okay. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I, I hope we learned something today. Yes. I hope you've learned how to do ragu now. Yes. There are other things that I will be teaching you very soon. At least you will start from the small one. 